Hey guys, Jobin here. Got a cool project to show you guys. Um, you guys have seen this knife a ton on my channel, and Laniel Zero One. You guys know I love it. Can't recommend it enough, uh, especially considering how little it costs. Uh, but you have, may have noticed this one has its clip on the left hand side now. This was done on a request from a customer who is a lefty. And. Uh, this project has a bit of a backstory, which caused me a month of frustration. So, while I'm very happy about this, it's uh, a little discouraging. Or, yeah, yeah, discouraging. And I'm hoping that uh, maybe one of my viewers has experience uh, drilling and tapping stuff. Maybe you're a machinist or something. Uh, because I have a question about this. Uh, basically, the comedy of errors started. Went down to Sears, got myself a tap set, read the instructions. All right. Then I realized the liners in this thing, nice, good quality hardened steel, which completely laughs at standard high speed steel drill bits. Absolutely nothing's happening. Could leave it there for like a couple minutes if you wanted. Probably not more than a tiny dimple and a dull drip, dull bit. So I needed a carbide bit to get through these things. And that's that's really when the wheels started coming off the wagon. Um, just a whole mess of ordering the wrong thing and the drill bit I needed going on back order. The place is sending me the wrong one, so I had to send it or actually they sent me a countersink instead of a drill bit at one point and I had to send it back and wait for the replacement. All to get this really anticlimactic looking. I'm not even gonna take it out of the case because I don't want to drop it on the deck and lose it. It's this tiny little steel stick. It was like 17 bucks. Um, and took me like three plus weeks to actually get my hands on. Um, where was I? So, I, I picked the drill bit to get from the handy chart in the tap set instructions. Okay. I needed a, a metric uh, size and threaded hole, 3 millimeter with 0.5 uh, thread pitch. Okay. Check the chart. Number 39 drill bit. And that's what I got. And so it comes in and I start and I use it. I drill the holes and I go to tap one of them and pretty quickly break the tap. Here's one of the casualties of war. Fortunately at this point, knowing that Murphy was working overtime on this project, I'd bought a second one. So I had a backup. But at that point, I, I had to figure it, it had turned with so much difficulty. And, you know, I don't have much experience with these things. And I just pushed it too far, and I snapped the tap. Because they're made out of very, very hard steel. Very brittle. And we're like, this is ridiculous. This hole is obviously too small. This is never going to work. I mean, it's, it's, it's so small, you could barely tap, like, a soft material. Like, I did, like, a practice thing in, like, G10. And it was kind of too small. Um... But at that point, I'm like, this poor guy, he's been super patient and nice, but he's been waiting a month for this knife, which I said was probably going to be a simple job. So I got to get this done. So I ended up getting out my standard drill bits and working upward through the sizes and reaming out the hole in my drill press with a standard drill bit. Uh, laborious, annoying, ended up breaking one of those. But fortunately, it was on the third and final hole. Um, so I got it done. But I would love to know. It, you know, I'm pretty sure I was doing it right. I mean, I was using, I followed the instructions. I was using oil. I was breaking off the chips. You know, you, you turn backward every little bit. And it just did not work with the size drill bit and the size tap that are listed on the chart. I had to have a 
Well, it was, the hole was probably, with this drill bit, was probably about 90% of the size it needed to be. But I needed to work it up through one, two, uh, three uh, sizes up. See, so without, you know, I can't remember if they go up or down when they get larger, the numbers, but I'd work it through three sizes up till I got something that worked reliably without uh, risking breaking the tap. So what, what the heck is going on here? I would love for somebody to answer that for me uh, because actually I'd like to be able to do this for people because there are a lot of knives that um, are fairly ambidextrous friendly other than the fact that the clip is only mounted on the right side, which is a big pain for people. So if anybody can let me know what's up with that, uh, why the size is, you know, the chart doesn't seem to match reality for tapping steel. I, I would love, I would be, I would appreciate that a lot. I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, hope you guys at least enjoyed seeing the project, even if um, my little story wasn't exactly entertaining. Uh, so this is Jobin signing off, saying, remember where your knife is.